Well, right after Labor Day, people who follow the Senate are probably going to have a sense of deja vu. The Senate's picking up pretty much where it left off before lawmakers went home for the summer. Right when we get back, we're going to be voting on spending bill for the Defense Department, as well as another spending bill that includes money to combat the Zika virus. But the bills that are up for consideration contain provisions that the Democrats in the Senate aren't happy with. On Zika, Democrats really don't like provisions that have to deal with birth control. They argue that Republicans attached a lot of provisions that are detrimental to women's health care. So there's still a standstill over exactly how to combat the Zika virus. And we're probably going to see lawmakers talking a lot about this, especially with more cases reported in the U.S. over the summer. So while the Republicans have called the votes on both the defense bill and on the funding to fight Zika, these aren't the proposals that are ultimately going to become law, so it will be once again back to the drawing board. Looking down the road, the big deal is going to be how to keep the government open. So what's probably going to happen is they're going to come to some sort of agreement on what's called a continuing resolution, and that just extends the funding levels from last year for another couple months or so. We're not sure exactly how long that's going to last. So lawmakers could say, we're going to extend this funding until December after the election, or we're going to extend it to March when we have a new president. The good money's on a short-term continuing resolution that would just carry the government through into probably the early part of December. That's the real big business that needs to get done before everyone scurries off to run for re-election. So we heard a lot about gun control before lawmakers left for the summer. Senate and House Democrats were really vocal on this issue, calling for action following recent mass shootings. I think you're going to hear Democrats wanting to keep this in the conversation. They'll keep talking about this issue when they come back to D.C., but I doubt that we're actually going to see any action on that. One thing that probably won't be happening in September, if not before the end of the year, is the confirmation of Merrick Garland to the Supreme Court. So Garland has kind of been waiting try for a confirmation hearing. Republicans have said, we are not going to act on his nomination. We're not going to let President Obama fill this vacancy. If you talk to folks at the White House or among Democrats, they're going to keep pushing for Garland to be confirmed, but Mitch McConnell, the majority leader in the Senate, has been insistent that that won't happen and that the Supreme Court vacancy is going to wait for the next president. 